Our movie begins with Jack and his wife Alice. They are a couple who love each other very much. One day, they were partying at a party with their friends, dancing the night away and enjoying the wonderful atmosphere. After the party, they decide to go to the desert together by car, and they enjoy joking and laughing together, feeling very happy. Then, they went home and fell asleep after a long day of fun. The next day, Jack wakes up and prepares to go to work, while Alice begins to prepare breakfast for him. Suddenly, an earthquake happens and all the things around them move, but they are not afraid because it is normal in the city where they live. Before Jack leaves the house, Alice asks him to stay with her and take leave from work, but he refuses because he has a lot to do. He tells her that he will not be late to come home that day. Alice bids him farewell and goes home, changes her clothes, and goes to her ballet training. There, she meets Follett, who is new in the class, but she does not care about it much. She completes her exercises and then returns home. At home, she begins to prepare the dinner that she will serve to Jack, but she notices that all the eggs she has are empty from the inside. This makes her feel surprised and wonder about the reason behind it, but she decides to change the subject and not think about it again. The next day, Alice and her friend go to a tourist village and spend time there while Jack spends time with his friends in the same place. While Alice talks to her friends about children, they ask her why she hasn't given birth yet. She tells them that she and Jack don't think about that now. Meanwhile, their friend and landlord, Frank, appears and thanks them for being there. Then Follett and her husband, who live near the city, appear, and Alice wonders why she hasn't met Follett before. Frank tells them that he knows they left their main cities because they are trying to achieve a mission in this place, and that Jack is among the people who live here now to get away from the chaos in other cities and work to build a better future. Margaret appears and asks why she is here, but her husband comes and takes her away from the others. They all come back again and sit together, wondering about the weapons being made in the underground laboratories and why they are being kept away from the cities because of that. They decide to build a city for themselves, but Alice refuses to talk about it and says that she is only here to be with her husband and lover. The next day, Alice is riding the bus in the woods and thinking about everything that is happening around her when she suddenly sees a plane crash behind the mountain. She asks the bus driver to stop immediately and come with her to see what's going on, but he refuses to do so. She tells him that the plane is probably carrying someone inside and that they should save him if he's still alive but he refuses again. Alice decides to go to find out what is happening on her own. She continues on the road in the desert and does not know where to go, at the same time begging for someone to answer her, until she reaches a large tower behind the mountain. She does not know what it is or what could happen there. She puts her hand on the tower and suddenly feels everything around her become confused. She begins to see strange things, then she loses consciousness. When she wakes up, she finds herself in the house, and Jack is serving her dinner. She asks him how she got there, and he tells her that she arrived on the bus. Alice is amazed and says that she was in the desert looking for the plane she saw falling, but she suddenly lost consciousness. Jack tells her that she was dreaming and asks her to rest. And then, one day, Alice receives a call from Margaret who tells her that something strange is happening in their area. Another person urges Alice to leave before someone notices her, and they both leave the place. Suddenly, the call is cut off and Jack appears. When Alice asks him about the situation, he tells her not to discuss it and reveals that they cannot leave the place as it will put them in danger and they might die. Alice is worried and tries to get more details, but Jack refuses to talk and leaves. The next day, Alice finds herself suffocating as clean film is wrapped around her face and she struggles to remove it before nearly dying. Jack calls a doctor to examine her and she is given sedatives and told that she will be okay. However, Jack refuses to take the medication and insists they will get through it. Alice notices the doctor's bag, which bears Margaret's name, and she asks about her condition. The doctor tells her that Margaret has a psychological disorder and needs long-term treatment. Later, the doctor leaves with Jack, and Alice takes Margaret's file from the bag. When she opens the file, she finds that it's empty, so she burns it to prevent anyone from knowing that she stole it. 
The next day, Jack offers Alice an elegant dress to wear while going out with him. He proposes the idea of having children and asks her to consider it seriously because he wants to have children with her and then let her go. Then Alice changes and puts on the dress and goes to a party with Jack. Here, Frank appears again on stage, greeting the audience and indicating that many people have contributed to the success of the place. He loves to honor these people and let everyone know they are diligent in their work. Then he calls Jack and begs him to come on stage. Jack goes out and tells the audience that he is a very smart person who deserves to be part of the investor team. It would be a great honor for him. At that time, Alice feels that something strange is happening and wants to leave. But her friend Bunny notices and asks where to go. Alice tells her that she feels something strange is happening around her. She also feels that a part of her memory is being erased. But when she sees the silo behind the mountain, she remembers it again and asks Bunny to accompany her to show her the silo herself. But Bunny becomes very angry and tells her it's forbidden to go there. Bunny tells her that she's behaving the same way she did to Margaret and asks her to stop thinking about this issue. She asks her to go back to the party and say, stay with Jack because it's a very important day for him. They return to the party, but the next day, Jack invites a large number of his friends to come to his house. Among the guests is Frank, who takes advantage of Alice's presence alone to talk to her. He tells her that she is the only girl he has chosen to be part of the place and then leaves. This puzzles Alice even more and does not allow her to think of anything else. Then they all sat down to eat together and talked. However, Alice remained silent, and everyone was surprised when she suddenly spoke up, saying that she felt something strange was happening around her. She added that Frank was behind it all, trying to make them forget certain things and focus only on what he wanted them to think. Jack tried to silence Alice, but Frank told him not to. He then revealed that he knew Alice had gone to the central silo a place that could only be visited by those who worked there. Alice accused Frank of being deceitful and of holding them all captive in the city. Frank responded by saying that Alice sounded like Margaret, who had made similar accusations before. He also revealed that he knew Alice had stolen Margaret's treatment file from the doctor, but he didn't want to expose her in front of everyone. Bunny intervened and advised Alice not to speak in such a way in front of their guests. She warned Alice that she would not be welcome in her home again if she continued to treat her guests this way. After their guests left, Alice spoke to Jack and expressed her suspicion that Frank was hiding something from them. She asked Jack to leave with her and start a new life elsewhere. Jack agreed, but as they were preparing to leave, a group of nurses arrived to take Alice away. When Alice tried to plead with Jack for help, he called the nurses and she was taken to the operating room where they examined her for the events of the past few days. After waking up, Alice returned home and tried to live her life normally. However, one day, she began to relapse into her fantasies and recalled all the events that had happened to her in the past in great detail. It turned out that Jack worked in biological engineering and wanted to be involved in a virtual life project where he could live the perfect life he wanted and at the same time have Alice live with him. Frank built the virtual world, but why did it have conditions? The condition was that once a person entered the virtual world, they could not leave it. Frank asked Jack not to tell Alice that the virtual world was not the real world and made her believe that it was. Alice lived in this world for a long time until she began to feel something strange happening around her. And that's when she touched the silo and remembered her old memories. When Jack returned home, Alice confronted him and told him that he had stolen her life. Jack replied that he wanted a better life for her but Alice demanded that he consult her before making such decisions. She also told him that she wanted to leave immediately, but he refused and tried to convince her to stay with him. When he attempted to hug her, she became angrier and demanded that he stay away from her. She hit him so hard with a vase that he started bleeding from his brain. Bunny came in and told Alice to leave quickly, promising to try to save Jack, because whoever died in the virtual world would also die in real life. Alice asked Bunny if all the women in the world knew that they were living in an unreal virtual world. When Bunny answered negatively, 
Alice ran out of the house and told everyone that the world was virtual. At that time, the news of what had happened reached a man named Frank who started to hunt down Alice. However, Alice managed to escape by stealing a car and heading towards the silo she saw in the desert. Meanwhile, Frank was surprised when his wife stabbed and killed him because she had also been deceived and believed that the virtual world was real. While Alice was being pursued by Frank's men, she managed to outrun them and reach the silo. However, when she entered the silo, she found herself in a strange world and did not know if it would take her back to the real world or not which confused her greatly. And this ends our movie. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like 